today's lead code august challenge question the question is part sum 3 you are given a binary tree in which each node contains an integer value find the number of paths that sum to a given value the path doesn't need to start or end at the root or a leaf but it must go downwards traveling from the parent to the child nodes this line is the crux of the problem it tells you that the path doesn't need to start from the root or end at the leaf but uh, it can start from any node in, uh, in between but it has to travel in the downwards fashion like it doesn't it you cannot include uh, something like minus 3 10 plus 5 uh, because it went uh, it grew upwards and then it went downwards so that is not a valid uh, case for us the valid case is uh, it always grows downwards 5 2 1 or 5 3 so this is the sample example that they have given us and the target sum here is 8 the answer for this problem is 3 and the paths have been highlighted in bold uh, the paths are as follows 5 plus 3 is 8 uh, 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8 and minus 3 plus 11 uh, is also 8 so let's try and solve this problem so uh, this is a trick uh, to solve this question so what do you want to do is logic like uh what this is the same example uh, that was stated in the question and this this is the same tree and uh, what you are going to do is you are you'll calculate uh, the possible sums at each node the possible sum uh, logic is something like this uh, left child uh, uh, plus the current root uh, the current root value right child plus the current root value and the third case is uh, the current root value so uh, i'll walk you through an example so let's uh, try and calculate a possible sum uh, for uh, this sub tree uh, 3 2 and minus 2 so one value is 3 the other value is minus 2 and the other value is 3 uh, so what you will return above is uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 uh, that that comes from the left child uh, 3 plus minus 2 is 1 that comes from the right child and the value of 3 itself so this node will be returning three possible values and uh, that will be as follows as some uh, the left child's possible sums uh, plus root the right child uh, possible sums plus root and the root itself and this value will be this array will be returned upwards and similarly uh, one from here goes up 3 plus 2 because the left child of 2 is null here and this this and for this node the sum of possible values are stated like this let's walk this through as well so 3 plus 5 is 11 1 plus 5 is 6 3 plus 5 is 8 3 plus 5 is again 8 and 2 plus 5 is 7 and so and 5 itself so sum of uh, left child plus root sum of right child plus root and the root itself uh, once you have that array built in i uh, you will check whether any of the possible values is equal to the target or not if it is uh, then uh, you will increment the count that will be a like a global variable that you will store if you will carefully observe the number of times eight occurs in the complete tree you will check you will see that uh, the it's it's three in number eight two eights here and one eight here which is the expected case for us and let's try and code this out so declaring a private variable integer count which will store the answer and now uh, if root is is equal to null simply return the count it's one of the corner case otherwise uh, you will go in a, a post order fashion post order traversal root comma sum and return count simply return count so this will be a private variable which will return a list of integers and i'm just copying the name here integer sum three node root if root is equal to null return an empty array list otherwise let's calculate uh, of that of the left child left list post order 
traversal root dot left sum similarly for the right child and let's define a new integer list new list which will be like a current current list which will return back so new array list so what are the steps to calculate the current list i trade through the i trade through the left list and add root dot val to each element for integer left child left list new list dot add left child plus root dot val similarly we will do it for the right list right child let's call it right child and updated also uh, you need to add the current root in the new list adding root dot val in your current list oh sorry typo current list dot add root dot val and now let's iterate through the list and check for how many cases uh, is the value equal to your target sum current list and if el is equal to sum you increment the count and you simply return your current list solution once before we hit run button uh, so what we have done is we have maintained a counter variable a global variable that will store the count uh, this is the main method if the root is null uh, return count this one of the corner cases post order traversal uh, which will return a list of integers and we will check in that list uh, for our target sum uh, if null root is equal to null uh, return the empty narrow list uh, let's go in a post order fashion uh, left dot root dot left and sum uh, calculating it for the left subtree uh, right list uh, post order traversal so root dot right comma sum uh, calculating it for the right subtree uh, this is our current list uh, which will be uh, a combination of its left uh, left list plus the current node uh, uh, the combination of the right list plus the current node and the current node itself I trade to the left list and add this to each element and uh, then once the list is created uh, you check how many possibilities are there where uh, the element is equal to the target sum uh, and uh, let's just return back the list so now let's click on this run button finished answer is 3 let's click on the submit button accepted uh, so this solution is kind of space extensive uh, I have also uh, created another solution which is not that space extensive and the, the link is in the description of the problem please go through that as well